You know, I keep hoping for this game to reveal its deepest secrets to me, but it, I think the deep secret is that it's just a walking simulator. I feel like my walking speed is really, really even getting slower. Oh. Oh. And I think I saw something I might have missed. Uh, and I've also managed to parkour like a boss along these rocks up here. And now, I'm thinking I can make a parkour jump onto this. The spot I think I missed is up over here, so... Yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? Look at this. Yes! I found another hole in the game! Okay, we're gonna drop down onto these uh, old cars. So this, this is that, that, uh, building. Uh, here's the, the, like, the dam, I guess it is. Uh, to get back to this side, we'd have to walk all the way up and around, and I think... If there is actually a fabled shore with a boat on it, it's got to be through here. So I'm going to try and fall uh, off this cliff. Should I not fall off this cliff yet? Should I stay? I'll stay on the cliff. Oh, I'm going to lose it. Oh, I'm going to lose it. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Did you see that animation? Okay, that's one of the cooler things I've seen in this game. I didn't know it would have that kind of falling animation. We sure jump like a jackrabbit. Okay, so let's push past these busted up old cars and see if we can find the boat, the shore, the, the train. Uh, maybe we can get on the other side of that train tunnel. Yes, yes we can. Oh yeah, hell yeah, look at this. What's down there? Oh, okay, so there's an invisible wall here. Now, as we've learned, there are ways past invisible walls. So let's, let's see. It doesn't look like it would be up. It's got to be down, right? I can't go over the edge yet. There's a shed down there. This has got to be the way. Oh, that's a cool old tree. Guys, I'm just going to check up here first, see if there's anything. Uh, no, there's not. Is there? No, that can't be it. It's gotta be. There has to be a way down here. Has to be. Maybe I gotta do some parkouring again? Yes. Yes! Oh man, we- okay. We have opened up whole new worlds for this game. Let's see if I can get that cool falling animation again. Nope, not yet. We're, we're parkouring pretty hard, because we were just up there. Uh, yep, ready? Okay. Oh, what is that? Is that a goose? A turtle. It's a turtle. It's another turtle. This is like a, a trapper's cabin. Or maybe a little, uh... Oh, fisherman's hut? It's a tiny pond to be fishing out of. Oh, I'm stoked. We found more to this game. Oh, look, he's got a little, uh, what do you call this? Where you sit in it and you hunt? What's it called? A hide? Uh, he's got a little, little hunting spot up there. Again, I don't think we can get into this cabin. I'm going to be very careful not to click my mouse button. Uh, no, let's just keep exploring. Cause there, there is new, there are new parts to this game now. Oh, uh, what is this? That is a freaky ass time. That looks so bad. This game is supposed to be about good graphics, but what is this? It's just a giant canyon that just, just pisses all over you. And the rocks are floating, I feel like. Yeah, like they're glitching out pretty hard. I don't, again, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. No clue. This isn't close to where that train tunnel was, though. Yeah, floating rocks. This game is freaky. 
All right, well, let's see if we can go around the outside of this tunnel back towards where we came from. Like, are we missing anything out here? No. There's the train tunnel. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's a whole new world, y'all. Whole new world. There's the train. Mother. Oh. I mean, this game still sucks. Like, hard. But at least... Oh, I can't get up there. You suck. Now, what's weird is that when we came through, when we were on the other side of this, like, we could see into this tunnel, right? Yeah, we could see right here. Like, we were in a, we were in a hole in the world that's like right, right through here. No. I was hoping for some like Harry Potter train station action where you just walk through the wall if you believe it hard enough. The lighting is freaking out a bit. I, is it possible that the shore is a real thing? It's like a, it's for coal, I guess, eh? It's like a little refueling spot. Train car. Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh, maybe we can go off this cliff. No, no, that doesn't look like people are supposed to be down there. Are those trees or is that grass? This has got to be the way to the shore. Like, that's where, this is the direction I thought it was in the whole time. Oh, she's back. Enya. There is a building up here we can check out. There's also a, a locomotive right up there. You know, I keep hoping for this game to reveal its deepest secrets to me, but it, I think the deep secret is that it's just a walking simulator. It's like when we find a boat, it's not like we're going to have to, like, do anything with it. Rig it up and push it out to shore or go collect materials to repair it. None of that is going to be a thing in this game. We're just going to walk, walk around, listen to, listen to the soothing music. And, um... And that'll be it. All right, so here's the end of these tracks. Let's go check out the uh, the engine up here. I used to really be into trains when I was a kid, like really into trains. What is that? Is that freaky? I mean, this looks cool. It's pretty well, pretty well designed. It's a beat up old, uh, old train engine. Nope. Okay. Let's push forward to the shore. I feel like my walking speed is really, really even getting slower. Oh. Oh. It's gotta be through here, right? Okay. Oh, if this is the end of the game, I'm, I'm gonna be pissed. Let me through here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So another sewer great thing. And another stream. 
Do we want to see if the walls here, if there are invisible barriers keeping us from exploring beyond these? Yeah, that's definitely, there's no way we're getting through here, is there? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Okay, I think I like this song. Bing, bling. Just discordant, but somehow harmonic piano. I've got the volume turned down so low. There's no like in-game volume adjustment, I don't think. So I've got the volume turned down so low. I can't even hear my own voice coming out of my microphone. So I hope it's recording. This is, this has got to be it. Follow the water to shore. That was my original plan. Although the water, oh yeah, I feel, I see beach, man. Like I know it's glitched out and not a real thing. But I, like, I see beach. It must be. Come on. Let me through. Let me through. L you must. Okay, where, where am I supposed to go, guys? Is there a way I'm supposed to go? Yes. A path. Okay. It is a real thing. Now, what is that? Is that supposed to be ocean? It's really messing with my depth depth perception. It's a, like blurry, and it's like close but far. This has got to be it. Where's the beach? Oh look, lighthouse! Oh, we are gonna beat the Lost Valley, the walking simulator from hell that crashed my computer on multiple occasions. Um, <clears throat> the game where by simply clicking your right mouse button, you reset your entire progress. That game. Speaking of, get your hands even off the mouse entirely. You know, the clans. You do. Oh, it's a boat. We have beat this. Oh man, I still, I still hate this game. Like, like passionately, but uh, I get a deep sense of satisfaction from having made it this far. I was watching. Uh, I was doing my edit, and I was watching when I went back to that old mill to like the other side of it, and I was looking, and I was like, huh. I think I might have missed something. What is this? This path is just jackknifing on itself, switching back. I kind of want to go check that out, but it doesn't... Maybe you can. Yeah, just jump down there. Man, they really use that depth of field blur to like... Like the water's rendered right here, but then like just past the boat, it's just like a blurry... Just nothingness. Okay, so we found the beach. We have found it. What happens when I get to the boat? Does the game end? I can hear the ocean. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Victory. I did it! I'm the best. There we go. Uh, I gotta be honest, guys, whoever's names were just up here. Mm, your game kind of sucks a little bit. Alright guys, I am stoked to have beaten this crappy game. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, my playthrough of The Lost Valley. I am Unite the Clans and I plan on bringing you guys more cheap games in the near future. If you want a quick review, I'd say it's not quite a game yet. Uh, the graphics are promising. Um, but crashes your computer a lot. Uh, there are holes that you can fall through that you can't get out of. Um, and so, some of the wildlife doesn't make any sense. Oh, look, the game just crashed. Um, yeah, so I'd say don't buy it for five bucks. And, um, and I'll see all y'all when I play another cheap game. See you next time.